Hi, this is Bhavi from Video SDK. Now, you may wonder what is Video SDK, right? Video SDK provides the user with the facility of creating audio and video calling app without even doing much efforts. Plus, Video SDK also provides the SDKs to different technologies and platforms. So, you can create your application using either web technologies as well as mobility technologies. In this video, we are going to create an application of React Native using Video SDK. There is an official website of Video SDK. From here, you will be redirected to the React Native documentation part. Go to Quick Start Guide and click on Start Voice and Video Call. So, prerequisites for creating React Native application using Video SDK is Node.js version 12 plus, NPM version 6 plus, Android Studio or Xcode install for iOS. So, let's first create an application. You can give your app name as per your requirement. After creation of an application, the next step is to install Video SDK, React Native SDK. For that, you can either use NPM or YARN. I'm going for NPM. I'm copying this command from here. Pasting it over here. This will install React Native SDK of VideoSDK.Live. This is the project structure. We will be making use of app.js, api.js and index.js file. Now let's move to the project configuration part. Open up your Android manifest file. Copy these permissions from here. Paste them here. Copy this metadata and services from here and paste them here. So by doing so, we are providing permissions and services to our React Native application. This is for colors.xml file. Go to Android app source main resource and in values check whether colors.xml file exists if not then create one and paste the code over here These are three dependencies that we need to add in build.gradle file in order to access WebRTC and in-call manager services. Go to app level build.gradle file. Search for dependencies. and paste those three over here. Go to settings.gradle file and paste this over here. Then go to main application.java
copy this from here search for get packages and paste that code here moreover import this packages in this main application file go to gradle.properties file copy this from here and paste it over here now if you are using prograd then go to prograd rules.profile otherwise skip this step for now i don't have xcode installed as i'm using linux operating system i'll skip ios setup now after doing project configuration we will need to register react native sdk to our index.js file in order to make use of it in our entire application so copy this line import go to index.js file paste that line over here and register it by implementing this much steps you are done with the project configuration now the next step is get started with api.js create api.js file copy this code from here and paste it here api.js file contains create meeting function which uses token of video sdk so first of all we need to replace this part with the video sdk token you can generate token from app.videosdk.live website if you are new to this website then you have to create your account after that go to api keys section and from here you can generate token but before generating token you have to create a project by clicking on add new i have my project created so i'll make use of it to generate my token paste it over here now this is a video sdk endpoint for creating a meeting and you will get meeting id by this now the step number 2 is wireframe app.js with all the components now in this app.js file we are going to make use of meeting provider meeting consumer use meeting and use participant these four are being exported from video sdk.live react native sdk what does meeting provider do meeting provider is used to initialize a meeting you have to pass token and config object over here then meeting consumer is used to manage all the states and callbacks of a meeting then use meeting and use participants are two hooks for managing meeting as well as meeting participant so let's copy this code from here go to app.js file and paste it over here we will be creating join screen component then controls container component and meeting view component now let's move to this portion and understand what it says so we are fetching the meeting id and we are setting that meeting id to this meeting id state and we will check whether meeting id exists or not if meeting id exists then using meeting provider meeting will get initialized and 
if no meeting id is there then join screen will be appeared let's move ahead step number 3 says implement join screen copy this code from here and paste it over here let me explain to you how this join screen is going to work and for that i need to run my application so here on join screen you can see we have one create a meeting button one text box and join meeting button by clicking on create meeting button you will be able to create a meeting and if you already have meeting id then you can place it over here in this text input and by clicking on join meeting you will be able to join the meeting now step number 4 is implement controls in this step we will use use meeting hook to get all required methods such as join leave toggle webcam and toggle mic so use meeting is a hook which is provided by video sdk dot live for react native sdk and it will have few states few callbacks here we are going to make use of join leave toggle webcam and toggle mic to perform those operations so copy this code from here and paste it over here now here i have just created one button and i'm calling this button from controllers container and using this for methods of video sdk now on join i'm calling join method then on toggle webcam i'm calling toggle webcam then on toggle mic i'm calling toggle mic method and on leave i'm calling leave method of use meeting hook of video sdk dot live react native sdk now let's implement meeting view in this meeting view using use meeting you are distracting join leave toggle webcam toggle mic and meeting id meeting id will be used to display it on a screen then the rest of the methods we are passing to controls container in order to perform those operations so in controls container this four methods will get passed and on button press we are calling it also copy and paste participant list which we will be implementing later in this video let me run this application again so by clicking on create meeting button i will be redirected to meeting view where controls container is being called Now let's move ahead. Step number five: Render participant list. So copy this code from here. Paste it over here. Also, meeting view. Copy this and replace your meeting view with the new code. so here using use meeting hook we are exporting join leave toggle webcam toggle mic and participants and 
using participant.case we are creating one array of participants id and we are passing it to participant list so here we will check whether participants length is greater than 0 or not if it is greater than 0 then those participants item will get passed to participant view now before implementing participant view let's talk about participant hook so use participant hook is a hook of video sdk.live which is used to manage all the participant related information then media stream api media stream api is useful to add media track to the rtc view component to play audio and video copy this participant view and paste it over here so once each item is being passed in participant view it will fetch webcam on and webcam stream it will check whether webcam is on or not if webcam is on then webcam stream will be loaded to rtc view which is media stream api and if webcam is not true then it will show one view with background color <coughs> grey now after doing this much step we are good to run our application so run your application click on create meeting our meeting is being created by clicking on join button you can join the meeting here our webcam is on so webcam stream is being loaded to rtc view you can toggle your map your webcam to turn it off and on you can also toggle your mic plus you can also leave meeting as well thank you for watching this video and if you stuck somewhere in between then please refer to our example code on github plus join our discord community and feel free to ask anything